What's up everybody? In this video I want to share a couple of recent pops that have been added to my collection and I'm actually going to uh, start off with some pops that I got in a trade with a friend Sherry Stover and these pops are video game related so the first one I have here is the GameStop exclusive Aloy in shadow armor and of course this comes from the game Horizon Zero Dawn which does have a sequel on the way. Now the first game I really did enjoy it when I initially played it and uh, I never did get to the DLC. I know there was some DLC added on that was um, significant, but yeah, I just never got around to it. I actually did go back and try to play this game again, but um, I don't know. I wasn't into it as much. I think it's because I've played some more, um, you know, third person games since then that it just has smoother movement to them, basically. So it made this one feel a little bit awkward to go back to. But yeah, it's still a great game. The graphics are amazing. And I think I, I will still play back through the first one eventually. I just kind of took a break from it, though. But um, it's absolutely worth checking out. It is a PlayStation exclusive, you know, so if you're a PlayStation fan, you got a PlayStation console. Yeah, this is definitely a game worth checking out. And I will be um, opening up the pops here in a moment so we can get a closer look at them. Next here we have a two, a two pack, which is also a GameStop exclusive. And here we have Brock and Sindri from God of War, the most recent God of War. I really do like these characters. The way they interact with each other is very funny. Even individually, they're very funny. They brought a lot of humor to the God of War game. So I was really glad to see this two pack get produced here. And of course, I already have uh, Kratos in my collection. I have um, Atreus as well. I used to have like the original uh, God of War figures with Kratos. I had uh, the, like the original three, but um, yeah, I ended up eventually getting rid of those just because they're that kind of old Funko design. You know, they're they're kind of simplistic looking. So I do like the more recent um, look of Kratos, basically. And then here. I'm gonna go ahead and this is not a video game pop but I'll go ahead and sit this up here as well very happy that they made this one and it looks really cool um, this is an Amazon exclusive here we have from the office the Dundee award so this looks really awesome I'm really looking forward to go ahead and um, unboxing this one and checking it out if you're a fan of the office I think this is definitely one you would want to have in your collection um, I think it's still available on Amazon if I'm not mistaken I mean you can check out the site to see but I think this was a great idea for them to actually do a Dundee Award. And that episode is just classic. Like, it, it really is a funny episode. So I do have more pops, but I want to go ahead and start by taking a closer look at these right here. As you can see here, Brock and Sindri are shorter than Aloy, which is appropriate because they are actually dwarves within the God of War franchise. So, yeah, I think they actually got the height there pretty accurate, you know, I would say, to how they look in the game. But let's go ahead and look at Aloy first here and the coloring looks really good up close like i couldn't even tell um you know with it in the box um that they had these shades here going on but yeah it looks really good yeah i, I definitely like the purple there you see she's very um geared up well not necessarily geared up but i should say armored up here with this particular outfit on looks pretty cool and if you know the game then you know that um some of the pieces she has here actually come from the robots within the game i mean the robots are sort of like animals at the same time but yeah you could tell she has some pieces that come from them from hunting them down which is pretty cool love the way they did her hair here as well you know she has some braids in her hair and that nice shading going on it kind of goes from like a red to an orange there that looks pretty awesome as well yeah th this is a great looking pop i mean if you really like this character i, I think this pop is a must her first pop um I'm not sure where it sits right now in terms of value. I know at one point it had really jumped up in value, though. The original um, Aloy Pop, which I do have in my collection, it took me a while to find one um, that was in good condition because with the original one, I think her hands, like her hands on her bow just look kind of um, me kind of messed up, basically kind of like blotchy and everything or whatever. But yeah, I, I did manage to find a good one to put into my collection. This time they decided to give her the spear weapon which is pretty cool because you actually do use that a lot, especially when you're sneaking around. There are some other pops from this franchise, including the Thunderjaw, which I'm, I'm tempted to add that to my collection. The Thunderjaw does look pretty cool. So yeah, I might have to pick that up eventually. But yeah, Aloy here, like I said, this is a fantastic looking pop. Very cool here. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the dwarves here from God of War. Like I said, I really like both of these characters um I'm trying to remember who you meet first I, I feel like is uh this particular character here Brock yeah if I'm not mistaken and 
yeah very nice hair sculpt with him as well you see uh he's got the braided beard going on there which is pretty cool he got his hammer there which he uses oh that actually no that's not the hammer that's um oh that's the brand that he uses like when he's upgrading your weapons so that's pretty cool that they gave him that but he does have a lot of other tools here on him yeah there's his hammer they got his hammer on the back of his belt there that is pretty awesome i know in the game that they explain um why he's blue i think it's that he handled a certain metal without wearing gloves or something like that um if, if you know the game, I mean, you know about the, the story there, basically, but I think that's what it is. I think he handled some type of metal without wearing his gloves, and that eventually turned him blue. Okay, but he's a pretty funny character, a lot of personality. Same goes for his brother here, and they are brothers, even though they don't look, you know, exactly like, especially because Brock is blue. But, um, yeah, Sindri here, like I said, he's his brother. He's a much more skittish character. I like that they actually have his uh, braids there wrapped up. Yeah, he's got the knot going on back there so yeah and that gold armor on him looks pretty cool he has his brand as well again um he can upgrade your weapons also so that's a nice touch that they gave both both of them their branders there basically and i can't remember what that is in his hand i know it's um some type of stone that helps to give you access to an area i think um i can't remember 100 percent for sure but that is cool that they gave him that as well so yeah, I just, I really like these characters. Um, I'd be shocked if they don't bring them back in the next game. Um, I think they will be back and I, I'm really looking forward to that. Like I said, they add a lot of personality and a lot of humor to the game. So they're just awesome characters. Let's go ahead and check out the Dundee though now to shift gears here. <laughs> this one is, is very simple. It's also very light, you know, because it is um, a chrome pop here basically, but uh, it's just on point. I really like this here. Um, I don't know why I was thinking that. I mean, you see it just says Dundee Award and the rest is blank. I feel like they were initially going to have it where you could write something on here. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I, I thought that's what they were going to do. But, um, um, you know, regardless, it is fine as is. And I like how, you know, the, the Dundee Awards, the actual episode is very early in the series. I think it's like um, either late first season or early second season. I want to say early second season. Um, so it's very early in the series, but I like how it keeps coming back up throughout the whole series. Um, that is pretty cool there. So, yeah, great representation of the Dundee Award and of Michael Scott. Of course, you know, he's represented here with this. So, like I said, if you're a fan of The Office, then I think this is pretty much an easy purchase. The series now, I don't think it's on Netflix anymore. I think it got moved over to uh, Peacock, that um, NBC streaming service or whatever. So, yeah, if you want to see the series now, that's where you got to go. But at least I think Peacock is free. I think it is free to check out. It may have commercials with it or something, though. But, yeah, you can still check out the series if you're interested in it. But, yeah, I'm really happy to have the Dundee Award. And um, Amazon shipped this out exactly when they said they would. So I'm glad to have this now. The main reason that I got Disney Plus is because of all the Marvel shows that have been announced and that are finally starting to release. Kicking things off, though, we will be wandavision that was not their original plan but because of what's going on in the world um things got moved around it originally was supposed to be the falcon and the winter soldier first but yeah they had to shuffle things around and i guess the um i guess the timing with those two series doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things which uh it's kind of interesting but yeah wandavision is about to debut i cannot wait to check it out i think they're going to just have two episodes available to start off with and then it'll be one episode um every friday after that but yeah, really looking forward to uh, these Marvel shows that are coming up. Let me know about, you know, which ones you're the most hyped for. I think WandaVision is going to be interesting, but I'm mainly hyped now after seeing the trailers. I'm mainly hyped for Loki. I think Loki is actually going to be very interesting. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get to the pops that I have here. So I do have Vision from the 50s and um, I did have to go for this one because it does have a chase variant um, and I think it actually looks good as well I really like the vision as a character it's going to be interesting to see what exactly is going on in this series I like that I don't know fully what's happening in the series you see the other pops there uh, which I might I don't have this Wanda Halloween pop um, I'm kind of considering it though. I, I don't know either. I'm either I get this one or maybe go for the classic one because the classic one doesn't have you know the Halloween pale going on obviously there. Um, the other Wanda's here. Maybe I'll be more interested in these after I see the actual series. Like right now, I don't really feel like I have to go for those. But if I really love the series, maybe I will pick up some other pops there as well. So yeah, Vision on the 50s. It looks pretty cool to me. 
And um, like I said, I wanted to go for the chase. I actually ordered from two different companies and one of them came through for me. Okay, so I do have the Vision Chase here. Now, I think if I'm not mistaken, I think I got this Vision here from Hot Topic and I ended up with the chase from Entertainment Earth, which um, you get a chance with both companies, you know, to get a chase if there is a chase variant of that particular pop. And um, yeah, I've, I feel like I've gotten maybe a couple more. For, well, I don't know. It's maybe even. I guess it would be all, almost even um, that I've gotten some from Entertainment Earth, some from Hot Topic. Um, I don't know if I've ever gotten one from GameStop. If I ever did, maybe just once. Um, but yeah, Hot Topic and Entertainment Earth, they seem like they're pretty fair about giving you a shot at Chase figures. So yeah, we'll definitely get the Chase out as well and kind of compare it to um, the non-Chase there. One thing I definitely like about the common figure for one is the hat. I mean, I just like this style of hat. It's very cool. And I like that they actually have it um, it's crumpled up just a little bit to give it that realism. That is pretty cool. One thing that looks awkward here, like the brim almost looks like it's separating from the rest of the hat there. But I mean, that's barely noticeable, though, um, especially from a straight on angle. I like the way they did his glasses as well. That's some nice touches there, having the gray there on the bottom and then these little spots here. It's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome looking glasses there. Also, you know, kind of uh, alluding to who he really is there. Look at the tie. I like the way they did that sort of electronic looking. So, yeah, nice little touches there. Of course, he has his briefcase going on as well. He even has his little, um, you know, handkerchief there. So, yeah, that is pretty cool. So let's see what the differences are here with the chase. I mean, the biggest difference, obviously, is the head scope is actually, you know, the vision head scope that they may have reused this from in game, which if they did fine with me, you know, I mean, it is vision, you know, his is true to his look. So. Yeah, I definitely like that. And this is not, I don't think this is a metallic paint job, but because it's all that one color, that silver, I think that's why the light catches it a lot more. So that is pretty cool. Yeah, and you see they, they're consistent there with the hands as well, that they have the silver hands going on there also. So yeah, those are the differences. I don't think I spot any other differences uh, with the chase. Yeah, I think it's just the head sculpt is different. Of course, they got the neck consistent there as well. That's metallic. Yeah, and it's metallic hands. Looks like he might have a watch on as well. It's kind of tough to see. Like it's just, it's almost covered up by the sleeve some, I guess, which is accurate. You know, that's the way it would be. So yeah, pretty slick looking chase there. And even though it's mainly, you know, the main difference is the head scope. I definitely think they stand apart from each other enough. So very happy that I ended up with that particular chase there. And like I said, I'm, I'm still trying to decide which Wanda I'm going to add into my collection. I really would like to see a new one. Like it's been rumored before that there would be a Wanda um, with some sort of effect going on with it. And I really feel like Funko needs to do that. We, we need a really awesome version of Wanda, um, you know, at some point. So hopefully that will happen in the near future. We'll see. And like I said, I'm very curious to see what this series is all about. I know there's been some speculation out there. I've been trying to dodge all of that and not even really thinking about it ahead too much myself. Like I just I just want to watch this series and see what's going on. And I hope it is an awesome series. I think it will be. Um, so let me know, uh, you know, in the comments, which Marvel series are you the most hyped for? Initially, for me, it actually was the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, but I found the trailer to be a little bit underwhelming. So, it, you know, who knows? It may still end up being a favorite of mine. You know, we'll have to wait and see. But like I said, let me know which Marvel series you're most, the most hyped for and also which movie you're looking forward to the most. Um, with the movies, I'm not even sure. I, I think the Spider-Man movie could be interesting, but I'll, I'll talk on that a lot more in another future video. My thoughts about MCU Spider-Man. I'll talk about that um, in the future. But yeah, let me go ahead and wrap this video up. Let me know what you think about the pops that I have here. Let me know if you picked up any of these or if you plan to get any of these into your collection. Let me also know what else you've picked up recently for your collection. I look forward to checking out those comments. Thank you all so much for taking the time to check out this video and I'll talk to you all again real soon.